let's talk about the single phase gas line sizing so let's take a pipe uh, of known diameter of length l because initially we uh, when we do the gas line sizing or any line sizing we assume a diameter and then we validate that whether it is correct line sizing or uh, not by checking the velocity criteria and pressure drop criteria for the given flow rates to be carried out through this pipeline okay so let's say we have uh, uh, a pipeline of length l and uh, inlet pressure is p1 and outlet is p2 and inlet pressure uh, temperature is t1 and uh, inlet gas flow rate is qz normally actually in previous videos i have explained uh, the line sizing for a liquid lines right so there we use two formula very simple formula which uh, one is q uh, q equal to va va from that this formula we can calculate the velocity of fluid for the given volumetric flow rate q which is we take in meter cube per second and then uh, we take the uh, assumed diameter and from that we calculate the area of the pipe uh, pipeline okay then from this we can get the velocity so for a liquid line normally we keep velocity less than 4.5 meter per second okay for a continuous serve uh, normally uh, 4.5 is the maximum range for a intermittent services but uh, in normally we keep the liquid line sizing uh, velocity uh, below 3.3 .3 or uh, 3.5 meter per second okay but here and and we also use the pressure drop calculation formula which is Darcy formula in the previous video for a liquid line sizing which is delta P equal to rho F L V square upon 2D where rho is the density of fluid F is the modification factor and L is the length of the pipe and V is the velocity of the fluid in the pipe whether it is liquid or a gas or 2 and 2 is a factor and D is a ID ID of the pipe okay and this f modification factor we calculated from the Reynolds number and e by d value e by d value okay so uh, we use the modification factor chart to get the value of f based on Reynolds number and this e by d value e is the roughness factor of the pipe which is based on the material of the pipe okay so here why we cannot use the same formula for a gas uh, a single phase gas line sizing because here in the gas case uh, case as the gas move into the pipe there is a pressure drop and because of that pressure drop the qz value change the volumetric flow rate of the gas is changed because the gas expand its volume increase and if the volume increase then the volumetric flow rate increase so so here qz is variable and the velocity is also variable because if q is varying because of this formula so velocity will also vary so actually in liquid case the velocity is assumed constant because the density of liquid is constant for a like a pure liquid case but uh, when associated gas in the liquid increase more or dissolved gas increase more then it becomes two phase so normally in liquid phase we assume the density throughout of the fluid is constant okay because there is no gas dissolved into that so here this formula will not be applicable because the the density will change with the length of the pipe and the velocity will change with the length of the pipe so as if we calculate the friction factor so every point of time the friction factor uh, value will change if we calculate from the nre versus e by d and the ga de gas density because the pressure is changing so density of the gas depends on the pressure so the rho g will also change so that's why there are empirical formula used for 
doing the single phase gas line sizing it is not uh, as simple as liquid line sizing as i have discussed in the previous videos you can see in my channel okay so now the single phase formula the pressure drop formula is given by this equation p1 square minus p2 square equal to 25.2 sqz square z t1 f l divided by d to the power 5 where s is where s is specific gravity qz is the gas flow rate z is the compressibility factor t1 is the inlet temperature of the gas f is the moody friction factor l is the length of the gas pipe and d is the id this equation is in fps so whatever value it give it's come in psi a okay so here qz will be in mm scfd which is million standard cubic feet per day of a gas flow rate okay and in this formula d will be in inches which is id of a gas pipe which we assumed initially right and temperature t1 will be in degree rankings because this this equ empirical equation is in fps unit okay so that's why and length will be in feet and z is a dimensionless constant which is a, a compressibility factor and uh, f you can calculate by uh, moody friction factor you uh, can by calculating the Reynolds number in re and the ratio of reference factor to the id of a pipe so from there you can put f value if you don't have you can just take f equal to 0 0.015 okay and then qz you can calculate because qz may be given to you but what gas flow rate you need to uh, flow through this pipe okay and then this equation will give you p1 square minus p2 square value okay maybe x value okay so you know inlet pressure you know p1 because you know what the pressure of gas which is inlet to the gas so you can calculate the p2 which is the landing pressure outlet pressure now in by using this formula what you need to do actually you need to check whether you are getting the required outlet pressure or not right if you are not getting the required outlet pressure let's say your inlet pressure is 10 bar 10, 10 psi okay or 20 psi g 20 psi g and outlet pressure p2 is coming around 15 psi g but you want that the pressure outlet pressure should be p2 should be around 18 psi g so that means you want to reduce the pressure drop in the pipeline okay so in that case you need to increase the diameter which you assumed initially d so by trial method you can uh, check the diameter which is required for a landing pressure of this one okay then this is the one formula empirical formula which is we use a general formula it can be simplified actually it can be simplified as qz equal to in terms of the gas flow rate 0.199 to the power d to the power 5 p1 to square minus p2 square and divide by z t1 
एफ एल एस विच इज एस इज स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी टू दी पावर वन बाय टू इट इज द सेम फॉर्मूला बट सिंप्लीफाइड इन टर्म ऑफ क्यू जी रीअरेंज एंड द थम रूल ऑफ फॉर इट कैन बी फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइड आई विल टेल यू हाउ बिकॉज नॉर्मली इन इंडस्ट्री वेन वी साइज ए न्यू पाइप सो वी वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट टू कीप द प्रेसर ड्रॉप इन सच ए वे दैट इट शुड नॉट एक्सीड मीन्स लाइक डेल्टा पी और लाइक डेल्टा पी शुड नॉट बी ग्रेटर दैन टेन परसेंट ऑफ पी वन इनलेट प्रेसर वैल्यू ओके सो इन दैट केस वी कैन राइट पी वन स्क्वायर माइनस पी टू स्क्वायर अप्रोक्सीमेटली टू पी वन पी वन माइनस पी टू सो नाउ वी कैन राइट डेल्टा पी इक्वेशन सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स एस क्यू जी स्क्वायर जेड टी वन एफ एल डिवाइड बाय पी वन डी टू दावर फाइव सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन यू कैन कैलकुलेट द प्रेसर ड्रॉप एंड फॉर द रिक्वायर्ड फ्लो रेट यू कैन सेलेक्ट द डायमीटर बाय ट्रायल एंड एर मेथड ट्रायल मेथड हीट एंड ट्रायल मेथड बिकॉज यू नीड टू अचीव द रिक्वायर्ड आउटलेट प्रेसर ऑफ द पाइप ओके एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वंस यू नो द प्रेसर ड्रॉप सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट द वेलॉसिटी बाय सिंपली लाइक वंस यू फिक्स दिस so q equal to uh, once you fix the diameter means d so you can use q is equal to v a formula to calculate the gas velocity and the gas velocity also have limitations actually if you see the gas velocity uh, means like uh, it should not go beyond normally for a single phase 18 meter per second okay you need to keep below 18 meter per second the reason behind it is because the rho v square value should not increase the maximum recommended velocity so if you uh, as a good engineering practice i know this that if you keep velocity below 18 meter per second your rho v square will not increase beyond the limitation given by the design standards okay but there are some different criteria for a gas line sizing for a psv or for a uh, psv tail pipe or for a bdb uh, tail pipe or a like a flare header or sub header because there we use the mac numbers so there are uh, there are standards which gives the rho v square criteria so based on that you need to limit your because once you know the value of rho v square from a standard which company asked to follow in the design phase so let's say it's x value so you can calculate velocity from here right under root of x divided by rho so this velocity you need to keep while maintaining your outlet pressure by selecting the diameter let's say you achieve your uh, diameter means uh, uh, like pressure by selecting some value of diameter but still you have to check the rho v square means velocity criteria if velocity is higher you have to further increase the uh, diameter of the gas uh, gas pipe selected right now there are this is the general formula actually to do the sizing calculation but there are many empirical formulas given in the various standard like api 14e right it gives like weymouth uh, i will tell you it is way mouth equation so mostly this equation which gives the formula for like qz equal to 1.1 d to the power 2.67 bracket p1 square minus p2 square 
डिवाइड बाय एल एस जेड टी वन वन बाय टू दिस इक्वेशन इज नॉर्मली यूज फॉर ए प्रोडक्शन फैसिलिटी ऑन ए ऑन शोर और ऑफ शोर प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर वेयर द पाइपिंग पाइपिंग लेंथ इज नॉट वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग इट इज शॉर्ट शॉर्ट लेंथ एंड प्रेसर ड्रॉप इज ऑल्सो मोर देन अलावल प्रेसर ड्रॉप इज ऑल्सो मोर देन टेन परसेंट ऑफ द इनलेट प्रेसर ऑफ द गैस एंड द फ्लू इज टर्बुलेंट सो देर दिस इज अप्लीकेबल ओके एंड देर इज अनदर फॉर्मूला विच इज गिवन बाय पेन हैंडल पेन हैंडल This is pen handle equation. So, which is like Q Z equal to point zero two eight E bracket P one square minus P two square divide by S to the power point nine six one Z T one L M to the power point five one and d to the power two point five three. Okay, here L M is the length in miles. Length in miles. One mile. Equal to one point eight kilometer. So accordingly, you can check. And E is the efficiency factor. For new pipe, take it one. For old pipe, take it point eight five. Okay. So normally, this this equation, which is pen handle equation, it is. Good for calculating the uh, use. Uh, good for line sizing when your diameter of the pipe is required. Pipe is more than ten inch, and uh, pipe length is more long pipe length, long pipe or piping or piping. Both are different. We can use this formula for pipeline also and piping also. Okay. and the third formula which these are empirical form formulas and they are given in fps unit okay so third formula is spitz glass equation this equation is good for gas line sizing which have operating pressure near to atmosphere like vent line size atmospheric vent lines okay so in this case it is necessary that your delta p the pressure drop in a pipe piping should be less than 10% of p1 inlet pressure so the equation for this is qz Equal to point zero nine delta p d to the power five divided by s l bracket one plus three point six divided by d plus point zero three d bracket close then to the power one by two. here delta p is in inch of water of water okay you know 1 meter equal to 37 inches and 1 meter water equal to 0.01 bar pressure uh yeah 10 meter equal to 1 bar sorry so it will be something different like 10 meter 
water column gives you uh, one bar so the one meter will give you point one bar okay so accordingly you can do the calculation so i have discussed with you all the related formula which is used for a gas line sizing single phase gas line sizing equation uh, gas line sizing okay concept so this formula like qz this is always in mms cfd mms cfd and i told you this s is specific gravity l is length in feet okay and this is the diameter in inches this is also diameter in inches this is also diameter in inches this diameter is id of pipe pipe id okay so always whenever we say the diameter in a process engineering